God has gifted you with every gift. Ephesians says this, every spiritual gift has been blessed upon you. And the greatest gift he gave you was who? Himself. And the best gift you can give is not passing out bulletin or leading worship or letters or beautiful things. The best thing you can give is what? You. If your jar is too full of what you want to do and what you have, then you got to ask God, God help me, give me courage to empty that because I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So three years later, Jesus dies, rises from the dead, and ascends. And he leaves behind what? A big building? A big budget? A big blueprint as to how to grow a church? No. All he has is that small community and their friends. of the ministry of Jesus starts with this community. He says, go and what? Make disciples. And by doing so, what is he doing? Extend the community. He says, unless you abide in Jesus, you can't do what? Anything. There's nothing you can do. But through him, there's impossible things are possible. And in that community, I believe the intimacy, commitment, and mission that you and I internally, whether we know it or not, we're looking for, will be found. Such, you guys create a, such authentic community and when you and I stand before Jesus what you're going to show are the people that you have impacted with the gospel of Jesus Christ my friends that's an adventure <laughs>